Hi students, let us coming to the next topic that is the life cycle or different states that are present in the thread. So in the previous video, I just given a description about uh, uh, an introduction of uh, thread. So a thread, I said it is a lightweight process. So just like a process, a process is having different states. In the same way, the thread is also having different state. So if you take a process, this process can have different states one it can act as a ready or it can act as a running or it may be terminated so like that each process if you take whatever the process so each process is having different state so it, it is in different in the same way each process are having different threads each thread is having different states don't be confused just like a process for threads also a different states will be there so a thread may be in ready state or it may be a running state or it may be a blocked state or it may be a dead state like that okay so just like a process the thread also changes its states from uh, based on the condition and based on the usage of the users and based on the requirement of the users, the thread stage will be changing. So I'm the process, suppose if I'm the process, if I'm, uh, I can change my states. I act like a teacher, I can and I act like a mother, I can act like a daughter, I, I can act like a wife, means my states are changing, but I'm the process, but my states are changing. So within my process, uh, within my state so i'm having the threads okay suppose if i'm acting as a teacher so uh, that teacher is a one a state that is a process state is in one state so within the teacher uh, uh, education so they are having some threads means i'm going to interact with the student i'm explaining to the student i'm uh, scolding the student like that some tasks are there so that is the state of the uh, thread okay I hope you understand. Suppose if I am the uh, woman, okay. This is a general example I am explaining. Don't be confused and don't write this in exam. So just I am, uh, for clarification I am explaining this. Suppose woman is a process. So the woman can change its states. The states will be different states. Okay. I can act like a mother, teacher, uh daughter so like that my roles are changing my states are changing so this is a process so within the a particular state also within that this is a process this is one process and this is one process and this is one process so within the process also you are having the threads so a thread is like uh, teaching teaching scolding uh, playing so like that so different uh, threads will be there in the uh, teacher okay so if you are teaching i may be in different means i can explain to your students i can just giving some example means the state while teaching i may halt while teaching i may go forward i am teaching why i can uh, pause my uh, lecture like that so these are the different states that are present in a thread so whatever the process you have taken each process is having some states in the same way whatever the states that process is having in the same way the thread is also having different states so let me explain those states the life cycle of the thread the different states that are present in the thread is ready state running block or it may be dead state or it can be in waiting state or it can be in sleep mode sleep so these are the different states that are present in the thread so if you take the communication so let me write first this so whenever the I start the program it is coming to the ready state the thread is going to be ready so it uh, is ready 
to it coming to the running state so when it uh, whether while running it may be blocked or it may becomes dead or it may go to the waiting state or else it goes to the sleeping so the running can be the running of a thread can be blocked in the middle or it may be dead or it may be in waiting or it may be in sleeping so if the if the thread is blocking is over means it again goes to start asking the process to start the thread ready and if the sleeping time is over it again sends the signals to ready okay so let me write this term so whenever you start the process the thread is going to be ready so when the thread is ready it has to dispatch these are the functions these are the operations that are doing by the thread dispatch comes to the running and running may be expires time will be expire if time expires it's again go to ready state time expires okay and coming coming to the running so when it, the running thread coming to the block state whenever the io request is there whenever the io requested then running will be coming to the block state running becomes to the dead state when the stop function is occur and running becomes to the wait state whenever the wait is wait function is appear so running to sleep whenever the sleep function is uh, you call whenever the sleep function is called the running will be coming to the sleeping position so if the sleeping is over done sleeping it coming to the ready state again to start the process and uh, if it sends the signals like uh, by sending the uh, function calls like notify for single uh, thread or notify all for all threads so these are the operations that are sending to the states whenever the blocked condition is over so it sends the i would done message to the ready state so this is uh, just uh, the life cycle of a thread life cycle of a thread is having different states it may be in ready state running state blocked state dead waiting and sleeping so based on the operations that are given by the uh, thread that will be changing its states so whenever it is dispatched it's changing from ready to running whenever it sends a stop uh, it comes to the dead i were requested it will be blocked if the wait is there then it is coming to waiting state if sleep is there it coming to the sleeping state like that so this is about the life cycle of thread thank you